Ours is the land for the potential and hidden treasure. There is a song in our heart and a glow in our eyes. There is a bounce in our walk, boldness in our talk. Jigawa State with its flora and fauna is a land of enduring peace and guaranteed security with warm hospitality. And as we rise to take our place as the tourist state of the true giant of Africa, if you come closer, you will see that we are so blessed more than meets the eye, highly valued. And to cap it all, here we nurture nature. We are proud to be the emerging new world. So come and you will be glad you did. Jigawa State. An emerging new world. Looking at democracy in action, a state where democracy really works, a state where the democratic dividends are brought to the fore, that is a state we call an emerging new world. And if you've not visited this emerging new world, you better get off your seat and come knocking on the doors of the state. They are very hospitable, ready to receive you. You may wonder which state am I talking about. I'm talking of Jigawa State. And it is really an imagined new world. Here the government of Jigawa State and the people, they coexist in love, harmony, and of course, unity. This is a state that guarantees you security, progress, and tranquility. It is a state where the state governor, the chief executive, will not tell you he's built roads and schools and hospitals. He tells you those are mandatory things that a leader should do. But the things you and I call intangibles, but they're very, very important, are the things that have been done here. And that makes a state very, very special. We're talking of beautiful coexistence between the farmers and the pastoralist, the girl-child education, and a lot of other things I don't want to preempt. Why don't you sit back, relax, and come along with us. I still remain your uncle on Motayo Motisho is my name. That name has not changed. When the pace of development outpaces human expectations. The caretakers of such growth deserve a pat on the back. But if you stretch out a hand of appreciation to Jigawa State Governor Sule Lamido and his team, they won't reject it. But we'll always tell you politely that what you applaud is the reason they came into office in the first place. Still, if you can master the time and purpose, you will be shown round five years of relentless belief in human development in Jigawa State. One that is fast changing the entire landscape and the people. Yes, Jigawa has become the bastion of achievements in governance. While these beneficiaries are grateful to Providence for giving them a fulfilling man who rose from an ordinary life through quite an impressionable public service to his current challenging position as the state's number one citizen. But it is not a story of character adulation. Rather, we are looking at the reward for a long cultivated desire to affect the lives of others positively.
the Jigara state governor does not bat an eyelid when he tells you that his is the story of a true Fulani boy with a humble background. He relishes the huge contribution from farmers and pastoralists to daily life in the state and his government's commitment to their welfare. It is an assignment laced with a fervent need to guard against unnecessary conflict between the two groups. Uh, the anger coming from Allah, if you spill a blood of his creation, uh, he said that, you know, in terms of severity and gravity, is something only the Muslims can define, which means human life is very, very sacred. And therefore, it should not be taken by whatever excuse, excuse unless as defined and stipulated by law. And so, the idea of these continuous community clashes and killings over what is a very, very simple thing, which other countries have been able to overcome. Here, we have people with a kind of culture and tradition of roaming around grazing their animals. And uh, we have subsistence farmers who are trying to eke a living, you know, by cultivating their small land holdings. Yeah. So the question of really understanding the psychology and, 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 and the tradition and culture of why am I doing this? Why is he doing this? So rescuing the farmers first with support from the government. First, through extension work so that they can be taught or introduced into a better modern farming system. And same thing from drudgery, rather than using human labor, at least if we don't have the mechanized one, at least there are some animals, what they call, you know, bull traction in you know, agriculture. You know, they are giving simple implements, you know, plows, which are locally made with the rija and the harrow and the trailer, with two bulls, you know, and, 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 and therefore, the farmer can multiply his, 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 his work on the farm by using bulls ten times by then using human labor. So it means if you can plant, if, if you can cultivate, you know, one hectare using human labor, mm -hmm. you can cultivate, you know, 20 hectares using animals. Very true. Alright? And if the seeds given to you are improved, high yielding seeds, with the required kind of support, you know, through farm extension, and we're introduced to modern farming, all this other, you know, to giving you more yield in the farm using smaller land. So it means the idea of having a big farm to produce more this even rice. Exactly. <laughs> and then the full animal who rooms around, again, you know, it's all the land you cover in terms of grazing, in the quality of the grass you have there. Yeah. So this we're able to define. But because the conflict has become a kind of, you know, uh, it has become so entrenched, it was very, very difficult for them even to understand this philosophy of our government. So we would do a little advocacy. Governor Lamido takes up an actual instance of fatal conflict and how it was handled by the authorities. Uh, we're able to bring this education to the people. But more than anything else, so long as you live in this culture of violence and bloodletting and bloodshed, you know, God will take away with withhold all his blessings and, 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 and the mass upon you. Exactly. And nobody wants so, that. So you suffer here, you, when you die, you also suffer. You suffer. So we are able to restore in them faith in God and faith in themselves mm. and belief in the you know, that yes, why should they simply be behaving like animals? Why should they be killing each other? Mm. And so there are these clear demarcations of what we call grazing areas. And the farmers know where to graze, a uh, white farm. The floods know nowhere to farm, and uh, we have developed about 50, I think, locations where we're putting windmill. And uh, it's a very, very simple thing where the wind, you know, pump the water. And then in this future location, I call the state, some of them about 250 acres, some of them about 500 acres, we're also putting grass. So the flying go there, they have the water.
quarter, they have the grass in areas which are so designated. Mm. And therefore, the farmer is now secure from the, uh, from the poaching, yeah. you know, of, of, of the flying man and this. And, and uh, this has brought, you know, stability and security. Mm. And because it has brought, you know, stability and security, the farmer is making, is married to the bank, or is married to his, uh, to his bank, yeah, because he's, right. he's, 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 he's harvesting more and making more money, and becoming more prosperous. And because he became prosperous, he began to have an appreci appreciation which is called peace. Yeah. Because he knows that, that he wants to enjoy what he has. Yeah. So he believes in peace. The full animal with the cattle, you know, they take their own water there away from the farmers, and they have now become brothers and friends. The Jigawa chief executive further says that time has come for the pastoralist and the farmer to receive inputs that maximize yield for them. This, he says, will reduce friction. Talking about the conscious effort to take development to every nook and cranny of Jigawa State, Governor Lamido says, What we want to do is to develop you know, our state in a more holistic way. That what you enjoy in this capital, in the city, is the same thing you enjoy also in your village. Exactly. You know, and that's why, you know, our local government headquarters, all of them have standards. And, what, and, and these standards are very, very obvious that, and, and they must be attained. That they must have you no know, first class town road system, network, within what they call township road, with the complement of drainages. Yeah. And not, you know, not really you know, roads you know, which you know, sneak like, you know, like, you know, but standard roads in all our local headquarters, standard roads. I noticed. Well, asphalted. Well, asphalted. Okay. Exactly. And, and, and with drainages. Mm. And they also must have, you know, what I call, you know, security at night by having street light in the night. They must be lighted. All of them are fully lighted at night. They must, you know, continuous running drinking water. Now, when you put this as basic, basic. you understand, basic. the light at night, you know, encourages, you know, local commerce. The women who, who are either knitting, the, the, the men there who are either, you know, knitting caps and what have you, or, so, or, or weaving, weaving mat, whatever, there is some activity happening at night time as much as happening at daytime. Governor Lamido, right from the onset, made it clear to everyone that since a greater part of the Jigawa population is in the hinterland, development must spread to them. To that effect, a new Ministry of Rural Infrastructure and Community Development was established. Jinjiri Abdul Kadir is the commissioner for that ministry. The ministry, there are so many, you know, some activities uh, line up, you know. Uh, the ministry, uh, one, you know, is to pursue rural electrification very key. in the state. It's very key. Uh, so that uh, in every nooks and uh, uh, crannies in the state will have light, people will have something, you know, doing. I've already seen lights. Uh, all over. Lights. Street all lights over, is yeah. all over in all the local government's areas. All the local government they have street. Probably if there is any uh, aeroplane coming, mm -hmm. they will say, "Ah, we are now in Abuja," <laughs> no, no, while not yeah. knowing that we are in Jigawa. <laughs> you see, so yeah, yeah. so apart from the uh, electrification, uh, we have also uh, water supply, rural water supply. Uh, we also construct toilets. Uh, in in public in places. public places, motor park, mm -hmm. uh, markets, markets uh, schools, even schools, primary school and secondary schools, uh, also in health clinics, uh, rehabilitation centers, uh, all these uh, we also do that. We also uh, we have the mandate to construct feeder roads. Uh, you know, uh, in you know, connecting you know uh, uh, villages and major towns also. Apart, pr apart from that, uh, we also have uh, our uh, donor, not donor agencies as such, but uh, we have a, a sort of a central working committee people, the self-help groups under this ministry. One other area which the Jigawa authorities are laying emphasis on is development of the woman. Hadiza Abdul Wahab, 
is the Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Development. In 2007, God brought us a visionary leader who has concern for the common person at the grassroots. And even at his, in, in his own first political speech, the inaugural speech, yeah. he made mention that he is ready to support the poor, especially the vulnerable, that are the people with special need, which are the, uh, are the disabled. We don't want to be calling them disabled mm -hmm. because they are able. Yes. Some are able in, uh, uh, in, their, in their senses. So uh, he, we designed a package which is a social security, which is the first in this country, no any governor that has done that. Done that. Mm -hmm. And it's backed it with a law okay. whereby currently from that 2007 to date, in each and every local government of Jigawa State, we are giving social security allowances to 152 persons, including men and women. For the physically challenged. For the physically challenged. To empower the woman, a lot has to be thrown into educating the girl child. The commissioner says, though the focus may not be on gender equality, equity is definitely a strong factor. She also speaks on the Safe Motherhood Initiative, which has given rise to the Jigawa Emergency Maternal Team. Uh, the emergency, emergency maternal team is structure of the grassroots, which includes the male and the female. From the communities, we are giving them a thorough sensitization of the danger sign when a woman is pregnant. And whenever somebody saw that uh, danger sign, the next thing is to immediately take that woman to the hospital so that the health facility can be able to save her and uh, take care of her, her baby, herself and her baby. And the wonderful thing in this intervention, unlike before, when women affairs will go into the community, they will say, oh, it's only women issues. The men too enjoy, this. enjoy it. They even talk about the danger sign. The men even demonstrate because we use body language to teach uh, this intervention because they are down rural area we cannot use papers or literature we use body language to teach them the men also participate the safe motherhood is an integral part of the Guduma program uh, but this one these with no women who are pregnant uh, right from the time you know they taken in uh, what they call you know, is it antenatal? Antenatal. Yeah, going to you know, the doctor <laughs> and then you know, they're fine. And then to the postnatal, after, yes. after delivery. Yeah. And the same motherhood was anchored on the finding that we have these deaths arriving at childbirth. Uh, the deaths of the infants or the babies born and also the deaths of the mothers uh, because of the distance between their villages and to a point of health facility. Uh, and like I said, well, whatever we do in Jigawa has synergy. Yes, and therefore, what we do in agriculture, in education, in road construction, must also tell you what we do in health. Yes. So the first thing we did was to open up these villages with roads. Park clean. And even the environment is so cool. Wow. We're right here in the Rashid Shekuni Specialist Hospital and I'll be speaking with uh, the Director, Admin and Finance of this hospital. He's going to take us round so that we can know all the facilities that uh, they have there. You're welcome, Dav. That, that machine, this machine you are seeing, the curved one, like a robot. You see it? Yes. It's an x-ray equipment machine. Oh, this one? Uh, for yeah. dental. Procured by... His Excellency, the executive government. These machines we have around can operate without even words with a formal operation, but through radiotherapy.
The Commissioner for Health, Tafid Abubakar, in an interview gave a wider description of the state's health package. So we have a situation where a pregnant woman walks into any health facility in the state and gets free treatment. Any pregnant woman goes in to deliver in the hospital free of charge. And if there is need for any surgical intervention, there is a process to uh, have it done as quickly as possible and as safely as possible and at the expense of the government. Really? And, all uh, surgical yeah, interventions? Yeah, all surgical intervention pertaining pregnancy, mm -hmm. delivery, and the first six weeks that captures the postnatal period. And all children under the age of five also gets whatever treatment that is needed free of charge. Mm -hmm. So right now, our main thrust is to ensure that all the hospitals, the primary health care, the basic health care in the rural areas are captured in this uh, program. And uh, what is only holding us back is not the funding from the government, but rather the management, okay. yeah, the management, the skills to manage the process. Abubakar talks about a free pro-poor health program that targets the rural populace more. The issue with the rural population is there is the issue of awareness. There is the issue of delay in accessing healthcare services. The Jigawa state government has actually enthroned a scheme where a hospital is built and its ownership transferred to the people themselves. Abubakar says results are simply commendable. The College of Nursing and Midwifery is another institution that has boosted healthcare awareness in Jigawa state. Abdullahi Ismaila is a vice principal in the college. You see, in a nutshell, this uh, College of Nursing you see here uh, is, is, is the best one you can find in the whole uh, uh, West Africa. I can assure you this. Generally, the college takes enrollment normally from across the Nigerian spectrum. The Rashid Shokoni Specialist Hospital is yet another elixir to health demands in Jigawa State. The edifice, which had been abandoned, was brought back to life by the Lamido Vision. It has 220 beds and four functional and well-equipped theatres with a staff strength of 481. On a guided tour, one of its administrators, Alaji Kabirusani, says the institution named after the former military administrator is centered to some of the best treatments so far, in addition to uncommon laboratory tests. Here, service, research and training are the focus. The momentous events happening in Jigawa State under Governor Sule Lamido have reinforced the belief that indeed nothing is impossible when the heart is willing. When a good man is in the saddle, the horse ride is not just smooth. Spectators applaud the race that produces a champion. Hence, today's Jigawa State, an emerging new world. Ours is the land for the potential and hidden treasure. There is a song in our heart and a glow in our eyes. There is a bounce in our walk, boldness in our talk. Jigawa State, with its flora and fauna, is a land of enduring peace and guaranteed security, with warm hospitality. And as we rise to take our place as the terrorist state of the true giant of Africa, if you come closer, you will see that we are so blessed more than meets the eye, highly valued. And to cap it all, here we nurture nature. We are proud to be the emerging new world. So come and you will be glad you did. Jigawa State. An emerging new world. It is good times in Jigawa State. Well, what else can I say? Jigawa State has been synonymous with security, with peace, with progress and tranquility.
that is a state you need to check out. I remain your uncle, Motaya Motisho. Don't forget, next week is another date when we'll bring you another edition of Towards a Greater Nigeria and to show you a nation builder at work. Thanks for joining us again and do have a beautiful night. Good night.